Hey everybody, Michael here. Welcome back to another video. Um, this one's gonna be very quick and very fast. Using my MacBook for the time being, my iPad is dead and it's currently charging, so I don't really have the proper camera. But welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a video I did a long time ago, uh, talking about the OnePlus 6T, a concept design image that I've leaked. Well, if you guys remember, it was pretty much the exact image of the OnePlus 6T, but it just so happened today, excuse me guys, today was OnePlus's big announcement for the OnePlus 6T. And in a short, pretty much uh, easy thing, I told you so, <laughs> straight up. I already said that that was the design, and I believed it was, and it looked good. Well, we're going to talk about it. Um, we're going to talk about the OnePlus 6T. We're going to talk about what things that I definitely liked about it, and also some things that I don't like about it. But from what I'm seeing from this phone, it is really, really nice. I actually don't have a lot to complain about. I have not that many complaints. If anything, this actually looks so good, and this actually might pose a threat to Google to Samsung, the Android smartphone industry, because this phone does a lot of things that I think probably Google and Samsung should have done by now, but at the same time, we can argue and over and over. But let's talk about it before we go into it. So OnePlus basically released their new, brand new uh, OnePlus 6T phone. Now, if you know for a fact that OnePlus has... Um, pretty much been on top of the game well now they're on top of the game even more because T they have t teamed up with T-Mobile to be an exclusive um, buyer or seller for OnePlus phones and this is very exciting because now you get to experience OnePlus phones now in America with the thank of T-Mobile so thank you T-Mobile just kidding so let's I'm gonna pull up the website real fast but when I watched the event, I wasn't really expecting a lot, but a lot of it got me hyped up. I'm actually really shocked. So let's talk about it. So the OnePlus 6T has now the in-screen uh, fingerprint sensor, which is the first and only phone in America to implement this. You are now able to do this. They have new fast charging, so you can charge even faster, charge by USB-C. Um, the phone is made of a glass back. It has a, a water drop or a teardrop notch, which is so much better. I, I okay look I am not a big fan of notches on a phone but this phone has by far the best notch on a phone and it's not even a notch it's barely even a notch uh, it has the dual uh, cameras it has no headphone jack which everyone is pissed off about but I'm just like hey I'm used to it at this point um, the screen resolution is an AMOLED as you always it has oxygen OS which is its own uh, version of Android OS uh, interesting to check that out and the, the, the biggest, the selling point of this phone is the price. The starting price to this phone is unbelievable. I can't believe that they're actually selling a phone like this at this price. The starting price for OnePlus 6T is $549. What the f***? So, I'm just going to point that out. Yes, I just used a stupid sensor bar, but the OnePlus 6T is $549. That comes with 6 gigabytes of RAM, and it comes with 128 gigabytes of storage. Now, if you look at the upper storages, you can get 8 gigabytes of RAM plus 256 gigs of storage, and it can go up to six hundred and twenty nine dollars it does come in only two colors at the moment i have a feeling um one plus may actually have a different uh color i think that they should implement more like they've done in the lineup but right now you have mirror black which is basically a jet black and midnight black which is a glossy black that's like what google uh version of like that glass back um that is really interesting how they were able to do that they feature the fast charging brick in the box. Thank the fucking Lord. You get the fast charger. And it does come with a OnePlus Type-C to uh, USB-C to uh, 3.5 headphone adapter. And you do get USB-C headphones in the box. So that is the OnePlus 6T. And I got to say, 
I am really shocked. Like, I am genuinely blown away. Because this phone, I never really had too much expectations for. But seeing what they were able to do, it has top-end specs. Snapdragon 845, up to 8GB of RAM, 60 to 20 megapixel cameras, in-display fingerprint sensor, and it still technically does have a um, facial recognition, although it probably isn't as secure as Touch ID or Touch dis or whatever. And the screen size is 6.4 inch and you get 86% screen to body ratio. That is amazing. And it's an AMOLED display, so you're gonna get the best view. I am genuinely shocked. Like I am really, really shocked. I made a video earlier about how I said Samsung will be the next phone that I'll probably be switching to. This phone is kind of tempting. It is really tempting at that price point for what you're paying for and looking at what you get in return. It is really tempting. I will have to see other reviews and see how it turns out, see how it goes. Uh, but right now, this phone is holding a very, very good place for me right now because I am actually in place to maybe pick this phone up. I don't know. I'm probably going to check it out. But I want to see more reviews on it. I want to see how people compare this phone, the OnePlus 5, uh, 5T to the 6. I want to see some reviews on them before I make a decision. And I also want to see what uh, Samsung does because I'm interested to see what Samsung does. So that's all I got to say about this. But OnePlus, I got to give you credit. You made an amazing phone. There's no denying it. It's definitely a competitor to Galaxy. It's a competitor to the Google. It's a competitor to all Android flagships. Now, whether or not it's a competitor to the iPhone, that's another story. But I, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know. And also, there is one downfall that I do want to say before I go. There is no wireless charging, which is kind of a shocker because this is the second phone to implement a glass back and not have wireless charging. I don't think that that would add a lot of money since wireless charging isn't that expensive to add on a phone. But again, I can, I can get used to that because technically speaking, I only use wireless charging only if I just like in, in the middle of the night but honestly it doesn't matter usb type c the phone has quick charging anyway so that's going to do it thanks for watching like comment subscribe and the battery life is amazing by the way i know i'm all over the place but i just want to get this out because i got one more video to make before i get to bed so that's going to do it thanks for watching like comment subscribe let me know what do you think of the one plus 16 are you excited for it are you going to get it is that your next phone uh let me know down below in the comments what do you think thanks for watching and peace no, I, 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 I,